Um, for me, it will be the last night in Lyon. Uh, because a few days before we were talking with Luca Turilli and Aurélien about how important chocolate was in our lives and um, on that last night there's Luca suddenly showing up on stage with a few others and um, he's got this huge piece of chocolate cake in there and he thrusted it into my mouth I was playing Megan Trop, not the easiest song to play I was quite disturbed but uh, yeah we were fed by Look at really himself on stage. What a great moment. <laughs> uh, my best or worst uh, memory would probably be playing Barcelona. And as you probably know, I replaced Pelle K uh, on this tour. But that news didn't really catch up with one of the guys attending. So uh, he was standing front row with his uh, Damnation Angels t-shirt, Pelle K's other band. And when I ran out on stage screaming, Good evening, Barcelona! I could see his face going from... to... So I tried to find him afterwards to apologize, but I didn't. So, Mr. Disappointed T-shirt guy, if you see this, I'm truly sorry. Ah. Well, the whole tour was a great memory and experience, but uh, beginning with Germany was awesome and it was clean and that I loved. Uh, the wildest crowd we had was in Paris. The best food we had was in Lyon. In London we had uh, I guess the best parking ticket. <laughs> and in Belgium the best traffic jams but yeah. Now my, my fairy memory would still be Barcelona uh, because of the whole context. It was the the last but one show of the tour, so the pressure was dropping. Uh, the crew was great, the crowd was great, the venue, Salamandra Uno, was, uh, just, it sounded great. Uh, when we finished the show, we were outside and we could hang around because it was not freezing, unlike the rest of the tour, because it was winter time. Uh, but what I loved the most was that after the show, we uh, took our van and we drove to a place called uh, Citres Sages and we stayed there overnight. So the next morning, we got to be awakened by the sound of the Mediterranean waves. And uh, then we had an epic breakfast on the beach. So, yeah, great memory. And someone on that show took an epic shower, which we won't forget, but let's not name that person. I really like to travel, so the whole tour for me was, was really nice, and uh, it's like going on an adventure, so that, that's very cool. And uh, we've met uh, a lot of uh, very kind people, and uh, everything went very fine, so that, that's, uh, that's great. If I had to pick one, maybe that would be the that night in uh, Munich when we went to that uh, pub, that huge, huge pub and uh, I've had uh, sauerkraut and uh, I've shared with um, Aurelien a huge, uh, huge beer like this because in France they, they come in tiny glasses so we've had this huge, huge one and, uh, <laughs> and there was um, local grandpa there who welcomed us at his table and we, we sang songs in German so I don't understand German so I have no idea about what we we, we, talk, we talked about so <laughs> that was pretty funny <laughs> oh, well um, I don't know if they really if they knew or if they know, I don't think they really care <laughs> because I'm still that grumpy guy telling them what to do. So uh, you know, it's a it's a different part of my life. So it's connected in some ways, but uh, it's not something that I can boast about and use to my credibility at work. Uh, I just try to be a good teacher. I'm playing on the headless basses, while well, people are always telling me something is missing on your bass, or headless basses are so ugly. Well, I'm used to it now, so you, you can 
keep on telling this to me, I, I won't be upset. <laughs> this one I'm using on the, the album, it was built specially for me. It's uh, from the French routier Yves Nion. It's a short scale. It has uh, a dark glass preamp and vanilla tea pickups. This is the, the first bass, the first real bass I, I own. So it's a six string, it's also headless, of course. Uh, it's from the luthier Antoine Elkin. I've had this one uh, this year. It's a very special one. Uh, it's built by the, the Swedish luthier Strandberg. I've had the, the chance to, to test the, the first uh, four spring prototype uh, when we came back from the tour in uh, 2016. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I'm really glad uh, I've met uh, Ola Strandberg and, uh, and I've uh, discovered about uh, his uh, special way to build basses. It's the, the, I think the more efficient uh, instrument I've ever used. It has uh, this special neck. It's it's so efficient, it's so relaxing to play, and it has no strength pickups and uh, preamp also. I'm really glad to have it. So thank you, Ola Strandberg, for building uh, great uh, great bases now, and thank you Eve for my special bass, and thank you Antoine also for this uh, wonderful six string I really love to play guitar on as a fake bassist. <laughs>